making sure you warm up before practicing is just as important for flute players as it is for athletes. Warm-ups help prepare our bodies and our minds to make sure that we get the most out of our practice sessions. But do you really need to bother with them? Let's find out. Just like athletes need to warm up their bodies and minds, it's a good idea for musicians to do the same. But let's have a closer look at exactly why they are so important. Playing an instrument is physically demanding, so warm-ups help prime our muscles for practice. When you start playing without warming up, your muscles and tendons are tight and are more prone to strain. A good warm-up gradually increases blood flow to your muscles, making them more flexible and less susceptible to injury. This reason alone makes warm-ups super important in preventing overuse injuries, which is a common problem among instrumentalists. Warm-ups allow you to turn your attention to your body, which is really your first instrument. Without your body and breath, this instrument is useless. As you're aiming to wake up your body, the aim of the warm-up exercises should be ease of play, fluidity, and openness. But warm-ups are also great for our minds. They act as a barrier between the distractions of your day and the focus needed for practice, and they can get our mind and body ready for engaged, smart practicing. When you start your practice by warming up, you are essentially creating a ritual that signals to your brain that it's time to switch from everyday activities to more focused practice mode. This mental shift can improve your concentration and productivity during the practice. Also, warm-ups remove the pressure of sounding immediately good. Because we know we're taking time to get everything moving, we don't expect great sound or technique straight away. This can really help how you mentally approach your practice and work. As a bonus benefit, while we're busy warming up our bodies and minds, we're also doing super valuable work on tone, posture, breathing, and technique. And because they're warm-ups, we're often working on these things very slowly, which really enforces good habits, hopefully. Great, but where do you start? There are so many amazing flute warm-up and exercise resources out there. Some are specifically warm-up books, while others are exercise books that have great warm-up ideas in them. But with so many resources readily available, it can be overwhelming when deciding what to use in your own practice. My advice is to incorporate warm-ups that help you mindfully focus on the weakest areas of your playing. If your tone is something you feel like you constantly battle with, then use tone, sound, and breathing exercises as a great way to warm you and your body up. On the other hand, if your technique is tense and clunky, try using some body and finger warm-ups, which will help you find posture for easy technique and wake up those fingers. That said, if you do have time, I highly recommend trying to hit warm-ups in the five main areas of playing at the beginning of every practice session. Body, breathing, sound, fingers, and articulation. So now let's have a closer look at how you can integrate warm-ups into your normal practice routine. Just like stretching before a run, warm-ups help get your body and muscles ready for the task ahead. By setting aside time at the start of each practice session for targeted exercises, you will not only be developing good skills, but you'll also be ensuring that you avoid injury and are getting the most out of the practice time you have. Ideally, warm-ups should be the first thing you start with. Again, the focus is on waking up your body and breath and finding fluidity and ease with everything that you do. But just like athletes are encouraged to stretch before and after a workout, it's not a bad idea to add some of the more gentle warm-ups to the end of your practice session as a cool down. I personally like to spend roughly 20% of the time I have to practice on warm-ups. So the longer my practice session, the longer I spend warming up. But this isn't set in stone. There are some days where I spend much longer warming up as I just feel like my body needs it, and then there are other times where I feel warmed up much quicker. The key is to listen to your body. There are some important things to always keep in mind as you're running through any warm-up. The aim of warm-ups is ease of play, openness, and fluidity. It's about waking the body and the breath up gently, and this gentleness will help prepare you for the more focused work coming up in your practice. So make sure you never push anything in your warm-ups. Consistency is the key. The more you incorporate warm-ups into your routine, the easier it will be to find that ease and openness. No matter what you're working on, whether it's breathing, tone, or articulation, always start the exercise slow. Only once you find that sense of ease at a slow pace should you begin to speed it up if the exercise calls for it. Pay attention to how your body feels during warm-ups. 
In some exercises, it might take you some time before you feel warmed up. Others might feel quicker. Do whatever feels right for your body on that particular day. Finally, remember that these warm-ups should be personalized to fit your unique needs. Experiment with different exercises and routines to find what works best for you. Over time, you'll develop a routine that perfectly complements your practice and helps you achieve all of your flute goals. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share widely. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notifications of the latest videos. Happy fluting, friends!